guys welcome to the channel tonight we're going to be doing some aluminum work on the intake manifold um, I would kind of show you before I started it but I've already done the work I forgot to do an intro but yeah, the, <laughs> it is what it is right so without further ado let's go work on this intake manifold if you watched the last video you have seen me try to use this cone burr uh, to grind down the intake manifold um, and we obviously know that didn't work out very well so I, I switched over to a flap disc and um, knowing I had to port this out to 70 millimeters I got online and ordered a burr that was designed for aluminum uh, so you see that there it's a lot larger teeth on it and we're going to try to port this out to 70 millimeters at least. Um, I'm wanting to maybe to go 72, but 70 should be pretty close. Um, the end, I guess the throttle body I'm looking at right now is just a, a somewhat cheap blocks th uh, throttle body, and it's 70 millimeters and a little less than $200. So I want to match this to that. I haven't got it in the mail yet, <clears throat> but that is the one I'm looking at. Um, if I don't use that one, then I'll probably just buy um, a K-Tune cast one for now until I get the car running and then maybe upgrade down the road to something like a, a Skunk 2, like the Black Series Skunk 2 one. But anyways, without further ado, we'll see if this works. Um, hopefully it does, so I don't have to go to a different route. But anyway, here we go. You can see I kind of started running the deburr on this, and I can't really see the line that I scribed. Well, you kind of can in certain light. So I'm going to take this marker and just mark around where I'm where I need to cut off. Which um, basically any video you watch to learn how to do this will tell you to do that anyway. I just didn't, but I'm going to now. So I'm going to mark this basically you just go around your line and just like that show you what it looks like when I'm done and then we will start running the deburr or the burr bit on it and it works really good this was done in like uh, oops, sorry that was done in like I don't know 10 seconds and the bit the materials there you know it works good so I'll show you that in a second. Now you see I've sketched my line around there. Um, you can color that all the way in, but it's kind of uh, wasteful. I mean, it is just a marker, but there's really no sense in marking on the inside because you know you're going to cut that anyway. My red's basically my line that I want to stop at, so I'm going to run the burr all the way around it and try to stop on the red. And then, obviously, we have to go into the intake manifold. Well, my camera action there's awesome, but yeah, we need to go into the intake manifold and flatten it out inside, and we will be done. Um, so I'll try to shoot a little bit of me actually running the burr into this, but uh, I guess there's not much to show other than cutting it out, but... I'll show you maybe there's some spots in here that's going to be hard to get to and I'll describe that whenever I get to it. So far the hardest thing about doing this really is just getting the thing at an angle that you can work. Um, I kind of got this side done, there's a few high spots, but now I'm trying to do the, the top part portion of it. Um, try to catch a lot of that on camera, but we'll see how it goes.
Okay, so we're done. Um, this bit works really well. Um, I don't remember the name of it, but I'll post a link to it in the description. And if you tell Amazon that I sent you, you will get zero dollars off. But anyways, uh, you see there's, there's still some sanding to do in here, but the whole overall looks pretty good. Um, I don't know if there's any other work I need to do, but um, this bid made this. I did this in 15 minutes so far. Um, can't really complain about that. Um, like I said, I used that cone bit or one very similar to it uh, back in my D-Series days, and it, it took way longer to do this. Um, so I would highly recommend this bit to anybody that needs to do any kind of aluminum work. Um, you gotta be really careful because it it's so aggressive that it will just eat right into any piece of aluminum. Uh, I wish I had it when I did this, but, but yeah, I mean it looks really good. I'm happy with it, and I'm almost ready to paint this thing black. Uh, I guess just final sanding, pull these vacuum ports out, um, get the plugs, which I don't really have to do that to paint it, but uh, have them ready to put in there and we will paint her. So that's another video. Um, just wanted to get something out on New Year's Eve. Um, I hope you guys have a good New Year's. Hope you had a good 2018. Um, mine was really great. We got a new house. Um, went to Disney a few times, which if you watch the channel in the future, you'll learn that I'm pretty big into Disney. Um, it is what it is, but but yeah, moved into a new house, started my K-Swap finally. Uh, I have aluminum all over my face. <laughs> uh, so it's, it's just been a good year. Uh, my family's healthy. Um, girls are happy. Um, hope the same thing for you guys. And until next year, uh, thanks for watching.